<laughs> What's up, YouTube? Does this look familiar? Uh, yes, it does. This is the left side off of your Can-Am Riker. Uh, and this is where you might take this and replace it with a cool air intake. Well, this is an air box mod vid. Okay, so what I'm gonna tell you in this video is how to mod your air box. Uh, this is what I recommend you do. If you're trying to get more airflow, but you don't wanna spend a fortune on a cool air intake, flip the lid, flip the latches. Remove this from the bike, okay? After you've removed it from the bike, there are two screws right there at the bottom. I've already removed them here, okay? Once you remove these two screws, there's a little bitty clip thing right there, okay? Once you push that clip thing in, it releases this cover. And this cover will slide forward this way and come off. Now this air box has already been modded because I do very poor videos and I should have showed you me cutting it in half. Whoops. Okay, so back to this. This is what you're gonna see. Okay, when you open it up, you're gonna see what you're gonna see. <laughs> you know, once you take this cover off, you're gonna see that this is actually all enclosed here, okay? And if you look very closely along the edge there, it looks kind of rough. I didn't clean it up yet or anything like that. But I, I, I used a saw, uh, actually my band saw, and I trimmed all the way around the edge here, all the way around. And one, one thing you can do is, uh, to figure this all out, okay, is when you're looking at this thing from the back here, okay, and it's all, it's all together. Pop this thing all the way back together. Okay, now what you can do is you can reach inside here and take your marker and mark. Just mark all the way around right there. And you'll see that that is the edge that I have, that is the edge right there that I have cut, okay? Just mark around inside here in this square right here with your marker. And then, then go ahead and, and like I said, push the little clip here and remove the cover. Take the cover off. Once that cover is off and to the side, you'll see that this is all closed in. But when you flip it over, you'll see where you've marked your square. And then you'll be able to kind of look at it and go, huh, well, there's my square right there. See it? And you see the extra area here I cut out and all the way around over here. And that's all gonna be, that's all gonna be, you know, up here like this. And the way this works, it comes in and it goes in a little area and then through a hole and then back into this air box area with a bunch of obstruction. Well, if you cut all that away, leaving that an open box area like this, then there's no obstruction. You're gonna go straight through there, straight through here and right into your air filter. Uh, and that is gonna give you a lot more airflow. Uh, it's gonna make this thing breathe. It's gonna sound different. It's gonna perform a little different. Uh, and I highly recommend an air box mod like that. Uh, you know, if you're thinking, if you're thinking, man, I can't afford, I can't afford that. Whoever makes it cool air intake but I definitely have got a saw or the means to go get one. You know, you could use a hacksaw to cut that out of there if you wanted to. Now, yeah, would it be tough? Heck <laughs> yeah, it would. You'd be working your butt off, but it's possible. Uh, you could use a Dremel tool, you know, with a little cutoff wheel. There's a lot of different little, little tools that you could use to cut this thing out with. Be very careful when doing it. You're using power tools, always be careful. But something like this, you're cutting into plastic, it's going to throw the plastic um, uh, if it's a spinning wheel. So uh, it's gonna be throwing it, so protect your eyes. Uh, and also it might melt that plastic and then throw hot plastic at you, so be careful there. You know, using a, a saw like a band saw, I was able to just run it right through there. And if you look in there now, you can see the light coming through, which if you tried to do that with your regular air box look in there, you would just see something black right there. You know, and it's gonna be, uh, like I said, it's, it's quite, a, quite a bit more airflow coming through there. You see that light now. Uh, and it's gonna go right into your filter and you're gonna have a lot more airflow and it's gonna perform a lot better. So, airbox mod, try it, do it. I saw some guy who drilled a bunch of holes in it. I thought, well, that doesn't look very good. Um, and that's what made me think, well, let me just take that thing apart and see what it takes to mod it and, and make it where it's gonna breathe a lot more. And uh, I think this is gonna be a very good video for you guys. I mean, I know I didn't show you me actually cutting it, but seeing what I actually removed from the, the factory air box, uh, I, I think you're gonna uh, be pleasantly surprised with, with the results when you do it for yourself. And it's not gonna cost you 200 bucks. 
or 300 bucks or whatever they're going for. Uh, this is a cheap DIY mod and it doesn't have to look like it's done half ass. No, no offense, but um, this still is gonna look factory. It's gonna look good, but you're gonna get that benefit. So it's something that I, I think you should try it out. And you know, before you spend 200 bucks, why not? You know, um, if you're happy with the sound and you don't want the lack of symmetry with that big old thing hanging off the side. I mean, it looks like a, I don't know. It doesn't look good to me. It's my opinion, of course, and everyone's got one, but I'm not big on the look. Uh, I've always been someone that uh, I enjoy symmetry and, and I like stuff to be equal. Um, I know the world's not equal, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, when I get it where I can. How about that? <laughs> so, hey, y'all have a great day. And uh, shh, please try this. It might work for you and it might save you 200 bucks. So y'all have a great day. All right, bye.